the EU is going to, under the G20 agenda, probably impose some sort of a caps on our bank managers. But it won't impose a cap on the gratuitous pay to our politicians, such as our Tishak. He still will be earning more than Angela Merkel. He still will be earning more than the President of the United States. So EU will be able to police our bankers, but it won't be able to police our own government. So then the other thing, there is a third strand, as I said, and this is what I call normal order of business, how business is conducted in this country. And this is where really the trust has been undermined. Uh, here is the biggest problem. It's operational issues of how businesses operate on a daily basis. And key words here to me to pay attention to and where the trust really rests upon are the issues of transparency, independence, and information flows. Now, what do I mean by all those three, which is important? On the independent side, it's really about proper risk management. We have the board's staff in PLCs and non-PLCs as well, in privately held companies as well, by the same circle of people there was no light coming into the room. They couldn't see the train coming straight ahead at them simply because they were all <coughs> imagining the same world in which trains didn't exist and paid themselves for that world as well. This is a problem because for a small country there is an argument to be made that there's just not enough independent people out there to be directors in the companies. I find that completely bollocks. It's not true. There are plenty of competent people in the country and outside of the country. We just don't want to let them in. Now the legislation is par excellence, is an example of how that operational exercise of independence is not being carried out. There is not a single director who is independent which is envisioned in a single structure or in NAMA itself. In fact, actually, NAMA legislation in the current reading prevents directly and explicitly a membership of anyone but the employees of NAMA on the cre credit and risk committees and on audit committee. This is explicit. That is in the legislation. It's not only that they have closed the doors and windows and no light coming in. They're now putting blinds on as well. Now, why it is done defies belief of anybody who is rational who hasn't lived long enough in this country. <laughs> and the reason why I say so is because it is a logical corollary of the structure of business that we have built in this country over decades. And I'll get to that in, the, in a second. Okay, because I want to bring in the audience as well, Constantine um, and Dan just, and Deirdre, yeah. Okay, well, you're saying again it's the culture of jobs the for the boys. Stories, but let me get to the structure of business, okay? The structure of business here, and this is where the problem is, where there is no trust can, that can exist really without some major reform and change in the structure of the economy and society, is the structure of clientelism. 40% of our GDP, roughly, is accruing to the government. Another 20% is accruing to the government-related contracts and things like that, left and right. Out of the remaining 40%, good 30% is accruing to the multinational corporations. So when we talk about the business which is not aligned in interest in this country with the government directly through some sort of contracts and some other sort of relationship, that's about 10% of the entire economy. Now this is minuscule and very small. And as long as we have the structure of the business to government relationship, which involves the closed room dealings of the social partnership, we are not going to be able to rebuild the trust. So you have to start where the problem lies first, at the head of the structure of the business. We have to open it up, we have to make it more transparent, improve everything possible for information flows, and where do you start, as I did with the comments before, you start where you can do it right this second, right now, at the lowest cost, NAMA legislation. Let the government show first and foremost how the trust is being built. What they have on the table right now is absolutely untrustworthy exercise in opaqueness. 